What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. And this right here, this right here is probably one of the most requested videos of all time. What I look for in a guy. And I'm not sure if that's because you pervs want to get in my pants. But if that's the case, let me just tell you that I eat a lot of pizza. Okay, so my thighs already take up a lot of my pants. You know what I mean? So there's definitely no room for you, my friend. Like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm gonna eat this Oreo right now. And if I eat this Oreo, my button's gonna pop. But I like it Oreo. I'm just kidding. I wear boys jeans. There's plenty of room. I'm just not a slut. Unless it's for Dwayne Johnson. What? Okay, what? You wouldn't be a slut for The Rock? Everyone would be a slut for The Rock. Okay, I swear to God, I'd change my name to Scissors if it meant The Rock was gonna slam me. Okay, I don't give an F. And before I begin, let me just emphasize that this list is specific to me, Superwoman, Lily, okay? It might not apply to all other girls because believe it or not, somewhere out there, there are normal girls who just would have a list that says like roses, chocolate, yeah, hugs and kisses. But me? Nah, uh Also, this list is in no particular order of importance. Now, without further ado, here we go. What I look for in a guy. Number one. Alright, and that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Just kidding! I'm not kidding. But let me just say, let me just say, this dude got kicked out of Saudi Arabia for being too handsome. Dot F, he got deported for being too sexy. I'm over here getting hit on by Billy Bob Joe at the gas station and mans are getting kicked out of countries for being too hot. I swear to God, don't even talk to me if you're not getting deported out of countries for being too handsome. Because now that I know this is possible, this is my new standard. I'm just so mad with my life choices so far. Okay, obviously I'm obligated to say that I'm just kidding. No real talk though, man. I'm really not that superficial, but I'm also not one of those people that lies and says, looks don't matter at all, because uh, you're lying, they do. But having said that, truthfully, I don't think anyone is ugly. I'm not saying I need someone that has like a six pack with a chiseled jaw and flawless skin, no. I just want a guy who puts effort into looking the best he can look. Like when you need to, you should be able to look damn fine, and honestly not even for me, for you. <laughs> Number two. Confidence. God. Confidence. Hear me when I say a guy cannot wear anything sexier than a layer of confidence. And can I be real with you? Sometimes I do find myself attracted to douchebags and I'm like, Lily, the F. And then of course guys always have those lines that, oh, all the nice guys get friends on. Girls just love douchebags. Oh uh, no, maybe we don't actually like bags full of douche. We like the confidence that that bag full of douche has. And if our friend in the friend zone showed some confidence, maybe he'd be in the end zone ready to score. If you know what I mean. I mean, for example, let's look at Bowser, okay? He's an effing Bowers. When he steps into a room, everybody knows it's him. But at the same time, he's a monster. He's horrendous. He's such a douchebag. I mean, his eyebrows look like a Oompa Loompa got run over by a truck on his face, okay? He bullies nice guys like Mario and Luigi all the time. He kidnapped Peach, but would I date him? Uh, yeah, hell yeah, I would. All over him. <laughs> Hi, Bowser. Oh my god, Jessica, get back, who let you out? Yes, Jessica lives in my boobs. Now you know. Number three. You ever been somewhere and you see a guy and you're not really attracted to him, so you're like, eh, eh. But then for some reason you have to hug him because either you get introduced or something happens, so you hug him and he smells like what dreams are made of and suddenly he's so much more sexy? Yeah, that. I need a guy who smells like a minty miracle, okay? You know those Axe commercials with all like, this X? That ex right there is crucial for you to not become my ex. If you wants to be my dream man, then you got to smell like my dream man. And he smells like mint fresh man from Sparta that doesn't sweat, but that's just really... It's like you're sweating Ryan Gosling and John Abraham and it's been put into a scent. What was I talking about? The biggest lie ever told in this world by anyone, to anyone, is that girls are the only dramatic ones in a relationship. No, no, because guys can be equally as dramatic, and I, for one, am not down. Ain't nobody got time for that. I mean, I want a simple, straightforward guy, okay? Are you upset? Yes? No? If so, tell me why, in three sentences or less. Am I upset? Oh, okay, I am. Let me tell you why. Let's talk about it for five minutes, and then move the F on. I mean, there are movies we could be watching, there are places we could be going, there are necks you could be kissing. What? Who said that? So I'm just not down to be all dramatic and emotional. I mean, let's yell at each other, okay, call each other some names, and then peace it out and laugh like homies five minutes later. But if you can't do that, and you're gonna get all Taylor Swift on me every time we argue, well then, homie, use trouble. Okay, ladies, let me know if this is just me. I find it super attractive if a guy not only does sweet things for me, 
but acts sweet towards people I care about. <laughs> like, okay, a guy does something sweet for me, of course, I'm like, oh, okay, thanks, yay, woo. But if a guy does something sweet for like my parents or like my close friends, like, sorry, I can't, I can't even hear you, what'd you say? What's that noise? Oh, it's a party in my pants. Yes, that, do it. So hot. Hot work with it. Six. I totally get and respect that sometimes guys, they want to act macho, okay? They want to feel like a man and in control and powerful. You know, cool, do your thing. But sometimes, if I want to pay for a dinner or treat you or take you out, I don't need you to turn your testosterone on full blast. I do not want a guy who's all like, oh, I will never let a girl pay for me, raw, raw, raw. Like, homeboy, I pulled out my credit card, okay? Not a machete. Why are your balls on the floor? Just relax. Because I am an effing boss, okay? I'm an independent woman, I am strong, and I'm more than capable to take care of myself, need be. So if that terrifies you, darling, okay, then stop saying you want a real woman because you can't handle one. What you want is a fake, fragile girl that could break. In that case, the blow-up doll you have is just fine. Psss. Seven. Wait, wait, did your brain automatically put 11 after that, as in 7-11? You're racist. Okay, this is gonna sound really deranged, weird, and effed up, but like everything else I say, I'm gonna say it anyways. Cool? Cool. I want a man who acts like he doesn't want me. I about to say, shmurr. Okay, wait, 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 before you call a shrink on me, just wait, Dr. Phil, shut the F up, okay, Frazier? Pipe down, okay? Let me explain. I crave things I cannot have. For example, right now, I really want a white chocolate brownie. Why? Because the restaurant is closed. And because it's closed, I want it even more. If I want a guy, I find it extremely attractive if he plays hard to get. To a certain extent. I say a certain extent because that doesn't mean I come up and talk to you, you ignore me and then go make out with my best friend. Annette. I want it to be a challenge to obtain you. Give me some chase, baby, okay? I don't want things to be so easy. You don't like sluts? Guess what? Neither do I. And for now, I think that's pretty much it. Let's be real, there's probably 50,000 other things on the list that I can't remember right now because my head is hurting. My head is hurting. Can you give me a hug and kiss because my head is hurting? But ladies, if you agree with my list and fellas, if you like my list, make sure you click the links in the description to share this video. Make sure you rate, comment, and click that subscribe button because I do make new videos every Monday and Thursday. Well, in love, Superwoman, that is a wrap and... What up, everyone? It's your girl, Superwoman. And today is Super... Leaving... Mom, I'm making a video. Can't you knock? I knock your head, okay? Where is my slipper? Oh my god, which slippers? My slipper, my slipper, You're the slipper I wear. You're just being so descriptive right now. I'm asking you which...